Hi there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome to How to Mod Project High Rise. Today we're going to have a short tutorial on the simple decos creation. First of all, you do need to go to their website to download the templates for whatever you are working on, and today we are doing just the one tile wide simple deco. For Windows users, you want to hit your Window and R button, type in this line of text right here, that will open up this folder for you automatically as by default it is hidden on Windows. Navigate down to the Soma Sim folder, Project High Rise, and lastly the Mods folder. I have already made a folder for mods that I want to add, which just to start off with, we're going to do wallpaper. Inside your downloaded Deco Simple One Tile Wide .zip, you will find these files, and you want to copy them and paste them into whatever mod folder you created. Inside Photoshop or your preferred painting program, open up the Deco.ping image. This will give you a template so you know exactly how much room you have to work with this. We're just going to keep it simple and create a gradient wall for our building. So once you have your super crazy awesome design done, resave your image as the deco.ping. Now we need to modify this definition.txt. Do a search and replace, or in the case of Notepad, it's just replace or control H. You want to find anything that says my mod ID and replace it with whatever it is you want to name your item. I'm going to go with the simple name of purple polka dots and then click replace all. So here is where it identifies the name of your item that you just put in, the space that it will take up in the game, one tile wide by one tile high, name of the file that you just created. Down here you have where you want to type in what the name will look like in the game, which I'm just going to go with the basic name here, but we want to, you know, make it look nice and capitalize the first letter of each word. In the description, type whatever you want here. Make sure to hit go to File, Save, or Control S, and then go ahead and close out that document. Navigate up one folder in your Windows and open up the description.txt that is in that folder. Replace the my mod ID with the name that you had before. In our case, it was purple polka dots. This is going to be specifically for what shows up on the Steam Workshop, and so I, I do want the purple polka dot wallpaper here again. And under this one, you can make a different description or use the same one that you had before. It doesn't really matter. Save and close it out. For your preview image, you do want it to be square because I believe that in the Steam Workshop, if you are not using a square image, your preview will show up either stretch or squash depending on the dimensions of your item. Just click and drag my image over to here. Duplicate this so that it will take up the entire image. Save it out over the other preview.ping and you are ready to go. Now we want to test out how it looks in our game. Once you launch your Project High Rise, go into Mods and make sure your new item is checked here. Purple polka dot wallpaper. We can close this dialog and start a new game. Now we want to go into Show Additional Player Generated Content, select your wallpaper, and place it down! There we have it! Our beautiful purple polka dot wallpaper. The last thing you want to do is click on your newly created item and hit share so that you can share it with the world of the Steam Workshop. Woo! Look at our beautiful wallpaper! Change visibility to public. Hit subscribe under your own mod so that you can make sure it will be working in the game for other users. Thanks a lot for joining me guys and please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if there's any other tutorials you would like me to make. As always, I look forward to seeing you next time and do take care.